So as a real estate agent in the hills, I get to see lots of amazing places and meet lots of fantastic people. What's really important to me and what's become very apparent, it's the stories behind these homes that make them something special. So today I wanted to bring you along to meet Tess and Kayla, fabulous young ladies who have grown up at 50 Yoringa Road in Castle Hill. Brilliant property, but more than anything, it's a family home. And I thought they could tell the story about what that has meant to them. So let's go meet them, shall we? This backyard, guys, is sensational. I think it's perfect for a family, yeah. but you grew up here. Um, what was it like? It was fantastic. Yeah. This backyard was the perfect backyard to grow up in. We were always spent summers in the pool. We had a trampoline down over there, and we just loved it. Our friends would always come over, and it was the place to be. Was this like the central hub of everything? Yeah, I feel like mum was the mum of the school because all the kids would come over after school. She was always <laughs> cooking always up a cooking. storm, so, and people would just love coming here. And yeah, we would yeah. play in the games room, play in the pool, and mum would always be cooking up a feast. Yeah. yeah. So, you think it's going to be sad? Sort of for her to leave it? Yeah, I definitely. Think there's lots of um, memories here that you know we'll always keep with us, even though the house is going for sale. But it's time for a new family to experience those um, those memories. Yeah, and, and, and every, everything that we enjoyed yeah. as kids. You know, someone else will be able to come and enjoy exactly that as well. Yeah. yeah. This is really close to everything. Did you hang out much around here? Yeah, we would always walk to Knightsbridge when we had our ride friends our over, ride our bikes. Mm -hmm. um, our first jobs were at Castle Towers, so we would walk to Castle Towers to go to work before we had our licences. So, yeah. yeah, it was really the perfect location yeah. for us. Grab some chips and chicken and come back and sit by the pool in summer. It was always the way to go after school, wasn't it? Fantastic. No, it is. It's an absolutely sensational backyard. Um, I reckon what we might do is start, take a bit of a walk through the house and you can show us some other bits and pieces and, and take it from there. I love this home. I love the high ceilings. I love the big spaces, the living areas, and it just it just flows from everything. It, like this can fit a lot of people. Yeah, is that sort of what used to happen? Yeah. Well, we're Italian, so we have a big, big family, and this is where our Christmas tree used to go every year. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that was my room. So I remember running down through the window and then seeing the Christmas tree, and you know, running down the stairs, and it. Was we would all gather here in the morning and we'd rip open all our presents and the paper would be all over the floor and it was just a really good memory. Yeah, this space was dedicated to special occasions. So we'd always be in here, Christmas, Easter's, birthdays. This is where all the present opening happened and all the family would gather it around. Yeah, I'm assuming it was always cream carpet so you were never allowed in here any other time? That's no. exactly yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Special occasions yeah. only. <laughs> and it was always set up to be the formal living room yeah. so mum liked yeah. to keep it that way. So. As we hopefully hand this beautiful home over to another family, what is one of those specific fond memories that you have? Yeah, I think for me, I'll always remember having, you know, meals, food, and as we said before, we're Italian, so food and gatherings and cooking has always been a really vital part of, I guess, just bonding in this, in this home. So we used to cook, you know, mum used to teach us how to cook Italian sauces in the kitchen and we used to set up you know, family date nights in the formal lounge room and it was really special because we weren't allowed to use that room otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so just having those moments and having spaces to do things at home was really special to me. Yeah, definitely learning how to cook for mum in the kitchen will be mm. something that I'll never forget. Yeah. And we still do that now even as adults, yeah. that's the place we gather to cook and eat together. Yeah. So I suppose the thing is, is that you'll always take those memories with you. Um, and we just got to hope that a family loves this place as much as you guys do. Yeah, yeah for definitely. Sure. And I'm sure they will. Yeah. How's it going to feel on the last time you walk out? Um, <laughs> it's a little bit emotional, if I'm yeah. honest. It's been in the family for 26 years. 28 years. 28 years. Yeah. So, you know, all of our memories are here and you know, it will be emotional. It will be sad to see it go. Um, but we are excited for someone else to share the same memories. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't be sorry. It's, yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah that's sorry. right. And yeah. I mean, Tess started living this home when she was one, I was two. And so we've never known any other home other than this and it's been a great home for us to grow up in. Yeah. <laughs>